So let's look at the properties of the lithium ion secondary cell, which is, of course, a rechargeable battery, probably the one in your phone. So it has a very high electropotential, it's at the top of the table or near the top, which means you can get a high voltage if you know what you're doing. And lithium atoms and ions are very tiny, which means the battery has a high energy density. There's lots of energy in a small volume. Of course, don't get the lithium ion battery packs. Wet lithium atoms, which may be present in the batteries, explode in water, like all group one elements do. Lithium ion batteries hold their charge very well and they don't have toxic metals like the nickel cadmium batteries, cadmium's toxic, and lead acid rechargeable batteries. Lead is toxic. But they may explode when wet, if you puncture them, or even if they overheat. So looking at the lithium ion secondary cell or rechargeable battery, that's probably the one in your, in your phone, uh, there seem to be multiple different sorts of these batteries. So I've kind of based this on the one that's in the Noose book, the Jeff Noose book, the one that you really should use to revise for your exams. All righty, so this one's giving off electrons. This half equation's giving off electrons. That means it's a negative electrode. And this one is a receiving electron. So that's the positive electrode. And in voltaic cells, galvanic cells, electrochemical cells, all the same thing, uh, the negative electrode is the anode, leaving this as the cathode. Now these two look a little bit funky, don't they? Uh, all elements are zero. That C6 is graphite. And remember, you don't have to memorize these equations. You just have to be familiar with them, you know, mess about with them. Lithium's plus one. This is lithium in a compound, group one, so it's plus one, leaving this graphite as minus one six for the oxidation states. Hmm. That's a little disconcerting, but it's, it's okay. You can have fractional oxidation states, but they're unlikely in IB. I think they asked them about, I think they asked about them once. Moving down to the cathode, there's cobalt four oxide, oxidation state of oxygen in the compounds minus two, that's plus four. Lithium's plus one again. Hmm. So that's minus two, minus two. Lithium is still plus one, and cobalt's plus three. So there's the fun. So there's the strange thing about a lithium-ion battery, the one we're looking at now. The lithium does not participate in the redox reaction. The oxidation state neither increases or decreases. It's actually the cobalt and the graphite that does. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if you wanted to add these up to get the equation for the cell. Fascinatingly, the lithium also cancels in the lithium ion battery. How delightful is that? This goes from minus one sixth to zero. So the oxidation state is increasing, which means that's undergoing oxidation. And this must be the reducing agent. You can't write RA, you have to write reducing agent. And now this cobalt, this cobalt was plus four and now it's down to plus three. And so that oxidation state goes down, that's reduction, which means this must be the oxidizing agent. You need to write the words oxidizing agent. And we're done.